To tell your class story successfully, you will need good footage. To this end, it is essential to know how to nail the framing. Before you start, you need to decide whether you are going to film in portrait mode or landscape mode. Portrait mode is not recommended for movies, but rather for social media. So shoot horizontally, especially if you want to show your video on a TV or large screen. How do you properly film the location where the action takes place? This frame, the background of your shot, always tells a story. It has an intention and a meaning. To frame properly, first keep steady and make sure you shoot straight, unless you want to shoot crooked on purpose for effect or meaning. <laughs> the best recipe? Get help from a small tripod or a tall one. You can find cheap ones easily. The tripod can also help you to better control your frame. Oui, donc il faudra le rapprocher du groupe s'il reste là. Avoid shots that are too short. Ah, deux, trois. Don't rush. Always allow a minimum of 20 or 30 seconds. You can help yourself by counting slowly up to 20. You can always make some cuts later during the editing. Wait a minute. There are still a few things you need to learn. Now let's take a closer look at the various types of frames. Let's start with the most common one, the medium shot. Action! In the medium shot, the characters being filmed take up more than half of the screen, thus drawing the audience to them and their actions. When the character is framed from the waist down, this is called the medium long shot. Warning! Place your camera or smartphone at your character's eye level. Use the tripod as much as possible. The white shot. The white shot or long shot shows your group or character within their surrounding environment, like here or here. The close-up shows a character detail, the head, the hands, the feet. The extreme close-up is even closer. If you want your film to stand out, use your camera or smartphone to make unexpected shots to surprise your audience. You can go for many other options. The traveling shot allows you to follow a character. If you want to move from one character to another or turn your camera, it's called a pano, as in panoramic. Wow, this pano is way too fast. Take your time. Remember, every pano has a beginning and an end. Leave some time before and after the action. The editor will need cutting space. To make your film come to life, you will have to alternate all these types of shots in the editing process. Think you're almost ready to shoot? But don't forget, a good film must have a good sound. So we'll talk about sound in the next tutorial. You'll see that with a tiny microphone like this one, you can get great results. Uh, je parle. Vous entendez? Je viens. Est-ce que ça marche?